All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned earlier on, we'd have Mikal Hassan with us, and he's here. First of all, Mikal, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for it having me. It is uh, always a pleasure. I just wish it was under better circumstances that know, we'd yeah. be here. But um, for those people who don't know what an institution Mikal Hassan is and your studio was, let's talk about it. It started back in 1995. Yeah. What was the idea? What was the thought? Well, I, you know, I'm I'm a musician, so I wanted a place where other musicians would come and record and collaborate, and like we could produce quality work. So that's how the studio started, and we set it up in '95. And the very first major hit we had with it, which is right in '95, was Freya Pervez's "Patang Baaz Sajna." Ah. That song was right. actually filmed in the studio. Uh, and uh, after that, then. We had Janoon come in. They did Parvaz. Uh, then they did their next record. Then later on, Ali Azmat did his solo album. Uh, then one of the biggest songs I think to come out in the last, मतलब पंद्रह बीस साल तो मैं कह ही सकता हूँ. हाँ. आदत. Wow. मतलब iconic songs. Iconic songs. Songs song. that have changed Absolutely the music iconic industry. Songs. Yeah. yeah. Those. Aadat that's what. Aadat was created in that studio. That is I absolutely great. I played bass on it because. Uh, they didn't have a bass guy so yeah. i played bass on it for them we arranged the song so that was atif's launching really it was his first song and you're not just a musician or a studio space you've also been a mentor for all these people i have lots of friends who are right. musicians and most of them are always looking for a nice place to rehearse in or you know they need audio advice or they have you know they've mixed something and they're not sure how it sounds mm. and so they'll bring it to me and i'll fix it up for them so it's always been you know commercially we were we weren't like a hot commercial studio right but for the artists and for the musicians it was a real hub and a real place where people could go and try out ideas i even like for younger artists i wouldn't even charge them money mujhe pata tha ki bas paise nahi hai but you know, i knew they wanted to record something yeah. so i just gave it to them and this has extended all the way till very recent when manu Mm-hmm. And Salor and Rosio, these guys, the new rap, rap guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. are coming into the studio. Yeah. We're all friends, so a big, a good manic environment for our kitty, where it was a community of people who would get together. And we've had huge names there too, but we've also had you know people who were just starting out. Mm. So it's always been a great support base. The reason we're talking about this studio is because past Tuesday. Was it uh, Tuesday? Thur- Thursday. It was Thursday. Thirtieth June. Thirtieth June. Your studio caught fire. Yeah. There was a short circuit. Tell us what happened. I was practicing in the live room, mm. and the electrician was in. He was working in the control room area. So there's these two separate rooms. Right. But there's this clear glass panel in between, and I suddenly saw him jump up, and he was waving his arms, and I put my guitar down. I rushed out, and by the time I got to the the lobby. Uh, there was thick smoke, and he was yelling, "Ke aag lagi, aag lagi." Oh it was God. an electrical spark, which caused it, and it just became so intense very quickly. And the smoke was so acrid, and it was so intense smoke that hmm. ke aap usme matlab kuch nazar nahi aa raha tha. You couldn't breathe, and uh, we basically just watched the thing burn in front of us. City FM nine. We're in conversation with Mikal Hassan, and we're talking about the tragic event that took place last Thursday, where your studio caught fire and was burned to ashes. Pretty I, much. I mean, this just is so like. I mean, I can understand it's your baby, it's your child. Yeah, You've kind of like, cultivated you know, over the years. Yeah, and it's like you know stuff, and also like records, like mm. of, of people's albums. Zayn and Hania's record was done there. Wow. Jal's record was done there. Atif ke gaane the. Misha Shafi's recorded there. Qubi's recorded there. I mean, everyone. Nuri ki albums. Yeah. Like the two albums they did with us, Wo Bhi Maa. I even recorded there, even though I didn't get any of it. You even recorded there. Zulfi started yeah. out with wow. this studio EP. That's where Fawad Khan, Zulfi, Ahmed Ali Bhatt, they, they would come and work with me on their their record, their first album, EP ki jo album. Thi. So, just curious, the fact that you've worked with so many different people, who did you enjoy creatively working with the most? I think the Zayn and Hania. Record was really fun. Um, Etabar. No, Chop. No. Chop. Oh. Etabar was one of the was yeah. the wasn't first single. The, no, wasn't the album was called Etabar, ne? I think it was called Chop. 
Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, but it was yeah. that. That's the one I'm talking about. Just yeah, maybe you know. Jio ne usko aitbar kar I'm not sure but we're I'm talking sure. about the same yeah. album jo wo pehli aayi thi it was album, just yeah. like beautifully yeah that beautifully was a really yeah, because yeah. so many people worked on that record gumbi was on it umran shafeeq was on it hamza jafri was on it i played on it popu sahab played on it. everybody we knew who were friends right we basically got them to work on that record that's so, wo bada ek happy time tha aur also i think jo especially jo lahori music scene hai, i can hmm. only talk about the lahori music scene Everyone's like really good friends and yeah. sab bahut like acha tumhare bass fist nahi hai main aa jata hu drummer nahi hai main aa jata hu yeah that sab, still happens ha wo abhi bhi hota hai everyone just kind of rallies together and tries as bilkul. long as good music is being made bilkul hai na it's always a it, it's a community thing you know city fm 9